Hey y'all, this is Ginger News, coach of the Texas Tornadoes, here with a brand new draft league season. This is season four of the Eon World Trophy, the EWT. And on week one, we're taking on Goki Gamer and the Milwaukee Metachams. So the EWT this season, the regular season, is going to be played with three brackets. And the placement in those brackets will give you points, and the points determine the seeding for the postseason tournament. But for each regular season bracket, we're going to be using a different roster. So there's going to be a lot of variety in the mods that we use this season. So let me just go ahead and give you a breakdown of the team that we're bringing for week one. First off, we've got our leftovers, Tapu Koko. It's almost max HP, really bulky with Calm Mind Roost. We have Eject Pack Latios. This is likely going to be our lead, so we can drop a Draco and immediately get some momentum. We have Life Orb Magic Guard Clefable. It can't learn Teleport this generation, but minimum speed uh, Baton Pass will basically accomplish the same goal. Then we get to our Hail Core. We've got Eject Button Nine Tails. This way we can get up Hail on a switch and then get in Arcdesult to potentially sweep. We have Specs Vanillux, Max HP, Max Special Attack Modest, just launch off really, really strong Freeze Dries and Blizzards. And finally, we have our Life Orb Mixed Arcdesult. This is going to be a really fun team, and I'm excited for this new league, so I'm just going to cut until we get into the battle. All right, so here we are for the battle. Let's see what Goki's going to bring. Good luck, have fun to our opponent. Uh, pretty much what I expected. So we've got uh, Thunder, Politoed, Seismitoed, Cryo, Volcanion, and Ferrothorn. All right, so not exactly what I had in my calc here, but pretty close. Uh, the Cryogonal is going to be a little interesting. I'm not entirely sure what it's going to try to do, but I know what it can do because I've used it in the past. Um, so let's just get this into my calc. All right, so Pharaoh, Volcanion, Cryogonal, Politoed, Seismitoed, and Thunderous. Okay, so with this, uh, I think I am just going to do the initial lead that I was expecting, um, my Eject Pack Latias. The only thing that can possibly take a Draco is Ferrothorn, and we have Mystical Fire that'll do quite a bit of damage to it. So once again, uh, good luck, have fun to our opponent. Really excited to see how this goes. I love the trainer card, and uh, yeah, it should be fun. Brand new season. What's the lead? Snowflake? Okay, so I did expect this to be one of the leads. Now, if this is like Scarf, for instance, and it's Modest 252 into my Latios, Ice Beam does way too much damage. Okay, so I think... Uh, my initial thought for a switch here uh, was going to be my Arc Dissolt, I think. Yeah, okay, so we're just going to go straight into Arc Dissolt. Um, we can save that eject pack for later, but until we get some more information here, I am not comfortable staying in. So let's see if we can get some info. Ice Beam, okay, into my Arc Dissolt, Ice Beam does... That is a lot of damage, 118. So that's, what, almost 50. Uh, so it looks like that might be modest. So, and given what you just did there, I'm thinking that you probably are scarfed or something. So I would love to T-Wave. Freeze Dry seems a little too predicty to start. Although, hmm, this is tough. Yeah, I'm just gonna T-Wave. If you stay in, do you stay in? Okay. Is this the Seismitoad or the Thunderous? Oh, the Pharaoh Thorn. Okay. I'm actually totally fine with this. So we get a T wave off on the Pharaoh Thorn. Okay, so paralyzed. Very good to know. All right. Now, here, I think we go Latios again. Um,. Gyro, I mean, knock could kind of suck. I don't know. We're actually, we're going to go Clefable. We'll go Clef and just see what he wants to do. So we know that Cryo has Ice Beam. Seeds. Okay, so we're Magic Guard. I'm not entirely sure, but I think that that means that I shouldn't take damage here. Nice. Okay. 
So this is Leech Seed. Now I could go straight for the Fire Blast here. I feel like that's a little obvious. Ah, a Moon Blast would smack pretty much anything else that comes in. I'm just going to go for a Fire Blast straight away. Uh, this is... I, I would assume that you switch here, but... Stay in. Stay in. Can we get the knockout? I mean, this should absolutely knock you out. Let's go. Okay. Ferrothorn KO'd by Clef. Okay, so that was enormous. Ferrothorn was one of the biggest threats to my whole team. And it's gone now. Uh, Clefable also, pretty much its only job was to take on that is steampunk is that volcanian good name good name so we're gonna baton pass um because i don't really do anything with clefable let me just double check yeah i don't i don't really do anything so we can get some information here flame charge oh no okay that did what 37 um Okay, hold on. Flame charge to my Clefable. So it's probably... Okay, so it's no attack investment. But you could definitely be... Max here. Okay. So at 201, does my Coco... Does not outspeed anymore. Okay. Okay. But I don't die to anything. Let's see. Okay. So I don't outspeed if this is timid max speed. But you're probably not super bulky. Oh my god, I forgot to baton past the seeds. That's not good. Alright, um, I'm just going to Volt Switch. If he brings in Thunderous, he brings in Thunderous, that's okay. Sludge Wave, this kills me if it's max. Does not, it was not max. Okay, I didn't actually see. Ooh, okay. So he's Flame Charge, Sludge Wave. Um, and has no item anymore. I think here is where we go into Latios. Latios takes pretty much everything. And we can Draco and get some momentum. Draco will obviously kill. Uh, nothing else looks like it kills. You can get off some damage and die, but I have a feeling you probably try to switch here, maybe into Cryo. I like that neither of us want to bring out our Weather. Okay, ooh, what are we getting some damage on? We're getting some big damage on Snowflake. Okay, that is the Cryogonal. We can see how much we're doing here. According to my calc, this should do about 50%. If it does more, oh, well, we'll just see. Oh, less than 50%. Okay, so that kind of follows up with what I was expecting. So, in all likelihood, that is... Uh, scarf like max HP or something like that okay hmm so this is this is a little tough I think we want to go into nine tails and Aurora Veil um, and if we get hit then yeah like do you want to attack me I mean you, you could have flash cannon right so if it does have flash cannon and I go Vanillux, Flash Cannon doesn't kill me. I could explode, but I'm not sure I really want to do that. Um, this is kind of tough. I think we go Arc Dissolve again. Because a Bolt Beak absolutely kills you now. And you really cannot touch me like I'm looking at <laughs> everything in my calc here like you could knock off I guess like I wonder if I freeze dry because I even flash cannon does not two hit KO me 
Yeah, I'm gonna freeze dry. Okay, do you switch in? I really, really doubt that you, okay, Thunderclap. So that's the Thunderous. Nice. How much damage are we doing to Thunderous? It's Yachi, okay. That's good to know. Arctazolt. Yachi Berry, oh my goodness, was that a crit? Okay. So freeze dry, crit, with Yachi. Doesn't look like it has very much investment at all. Um, and it can do some nasty things to me. So I might just have to let this go down, which is unfortunate. Um, but I don't think that I can afford to let it set up here. I'm trying to think if... Because we're faster with nine tails, and we can start doing some things. If I let this go down, do I have... I do have a little bit of trouble getting the Vulcanian. But I don't think that I can afford to switch, because if I switch, then I think I lose. If it, it like, agilities or something. So I'm just going to freeze dry again. Sludge wave. I mean, this probably kills me. I am not very invested. Oh, okay, we'll take that. Freeze dry, cool. So we kill the Thunderous. KO'd by Ark. And we probably knock out ourselves with the... Oh, no we don't. Sweet. Okay, so with that gone, there's only uh, Cryogonal, Volcanion, Politoed, Seismitoed. With Volcanion, you probably uh, come out and flame charge me. I mean, like, I have a little bit of speed on this. Okay. So, again, I am definitely assuming that this is scarfed or choice locked. Just based on the the way that it's been played so far. So we'll see. I'm going to play under that assumption and see what it goes for. Flash Cannon. Okay. So with Flash Cannon, I actually feel really comfortable bringing in Latios now. Oh, it's Leftovers? Did I see that before? Okay, so if it's Leftovers... Psyshock. Psyshock has a chance to kill. Um. Hmm. Coco. Ice Beam probably KOs Coco. That's rough. Yeah, I think we're going to go Latios. I'm kind of running out of time in this game. Okay, so we're going to Psyshock. Well, I think I want a Mystical Fire, actually, because it'll lower the damage, and I'm not convinced that Psyshock kills. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So at minus one... Oh, it just recovers? Okay, actually, that is totally fine with me, because uh, Psyshock 100% does more than recovery plus leftovers. And now that you're at minus one, I'm not even really worried about how much damage you're doing to me. So we can start to side shock here. Let's see. Oh yeah. Toxic. Miss. Oh, I'm so sorry. That, yeah, that, that is a game changer. Um, yikes. I, I feel a little, a little, a little bad about that one, but we'll take it. Oof. Okay, so you withdraw. How much damage are we doing with Psyshock to... Who is Berry Swirl? Oh, I did not realize that that's what a shiny Politoed looks like. It's a good shiny. Okay, how much are we doing? So, according to my calc, if this is a Spadef variant, this should do almost 50. Yeah, that looks like it might be a little more than that. Mm. I don't know. Okay, so the, even an Ice Beam, if this is like my, I don't think I care. I think I just attack. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep Psyshocking. 
I, I don't know what you do to me here that I care too much about. We almost got the roll. So now you toxic. Okay. So if you're toxic, protect. Fine. But I really don't see a reason not to just keep attacking here. Like, the biggest threat to me right now is Volcanion. Which I do kind of need this for. But I will absolutely take the kill on Politoed. So, uh, KO'd by Lottie. Okay, so now I think we switch. Seismitoad is probably coming in. Bumps? Yeah. So here is where uh, my eject button comes into play. Because we get in nine tails, we see how much damage we take. If this is like jolly life orb attacking, we'll get a, a really good idea here. But we can not only figure out the damage, but also rain is gone forever now. Power up punch. Okay. That's a really cool idea. But unfortunately, uh, that's not going to help you too much. So, let's see. We got, we got time because this game is getting wrapped up. So how much damage did we take? A little less than 30. Um, okay, so it's... Well, I know it's not life worth. We took 26. Okay, so it's probably still Jolly. Jolly plus one into my Vanillux. Uh, nothing kills me. And so we can just start launching off freeze dries. Okay, so with Seismitoad, Cryogonal, and Volcanion left. I wonder if I Aurora Veil. Because we have speed advantage. How much does Vanillix do to Volcanion with Freeze Dry? Eh, that's enough. How much are we doing with Blizzard? More than enough. Well, no. Let's just Freeze Dry to be safe. We only have about three minutes left in this game, so we do need to play a little quicker. This is going to do a lot of damage, but it's not going to kill me. Yeah. And Seismitoad is going to go down. Uh, KO'd by uh, Vanille. Okay. Uh. Okay, so I mean, we'll, we'll just stay in here. There's no reason to do anything fancy here. Recover, okay. So now I think I will switch. God, that does a lot of damage. Okay, that was a crit. <laughs> Kinda sorry, but like, it happens. Um, my nine tails. Yeah, I think I want to get in nine tails here. We have some problems getting through this, though. That's there's that's no joke. Um, here we can Aurora Veil. Goes for Flash Cannon. Shouldn't do too much. Yeah. We've got no more hail. That's okay. Now, according to my calcs here, Clef with Fire Blast actually does more damage than it takes. Or than Cryo would recover with. Recover. If we hit Fire Blast. Um, 
the the trick here is how do we get in Latios? I mean, so we have up Veil right now. So I think if we might just baton pass. How many more turns of Veil do we have? Three. So we would have two turns. I think we just baton pass into our Latios right now. Oh, that might be it. So with Volcanion at that HP, I think we go into Coco. Yeah, we go into Coco and we Volt Switch and that might just be game. Uh, kind of depends on how much damage we do with this Volt Switch. If we kill, we go into Latios, that should be game. If we don't kill, uh, I think we go into Vanillux. But let's let's just see how much damage this does first. According to my calcs, this should kill. Or you can switch and that is pretty much guaranteed GG, I believe. Because we do uh, like 25% here. Yeah. And then we go into Latios and we just Psy Shock forever. We should have one more turn of Aurora Veil. Vale. We do. So we Psy Shock forever. Great damage. You should recover here. You don't, you Ice Beam. This should not kill me because of the Veil. Uh, okay, so we Psy Shock again. The way that we win this game, I think guaranteed, is we Psy Shock again. We shouldn't die. Eh, we might die to poison next time. Let's just see. Okay, Psy Shock that kills Cryo. KO'd by Lottie. Do we die to the poison? Yeah, kind of would have preferred that we did, actually. Because now we have to hit a Draco. Um, if we hit the Draco, I think we guaranteed win. If we don't hit the Draco, we're in a really bad spot. <laughs> so, hands up. Prayers for Latios. Do we hit the Draco? We do. And this should kill. And it does. Uh, GG's to Goki Gamer. That was actually a really close battle despite it being a 4-0. Like, that's about as close as a a 4 as it can get because you flame charge there and then if you have flamethrower I think you just get three more kills uh, and win the game so a 4-0 but an extremely close 4-0 we start the season uh, with a win really excited for the rest of the season it should be fun bringing a lot of heat this year uh, this season so uh, I will see you guys in the next battle uh, for week two peace